red line. Shot off the outside of the post. And Victor was ducking. Nagaro was down by a good four or five feet. Another chip far post. This will come to Thompson in the corner. McCallis whacks away, but Thompson will keep possession back to Byrne. 5-14 left here, and it's 6-4 San Diego. They led 6-1 heading to the quarter. Out it comes to Ronson in the corner. He'll play it to Valentine and now a race, but he'll get to it way ahead of George Fernandez. 6-1, the Soccer's led at the end of three. Here's Byrne. Up front for Ronson. Back to Thompson and headed out by Crow. Now it's Fernandez to the empty net, and Byrne will touch it with his hands. That's a penalty It'll be a two-minute penalty, and no, they wave it off. Oh, no! How did they miss it? He knocked it down with his hand. That may be the worst call I've seen ever. Oh, my goodness. That is the most terrible call ever. Here's a goal. This is, a, this is a tainted goal. This is a tainted goal. Oh, this is one of the worst decisions in the league's history, Bill. A missed handball at the red line. And you know what the other bad decision was? Victor Nagara quit. He thought there was going to be a whistle, and they scored easily. A natural hat trick for Mobilio on an absolutely unbelievable missed call. 6-5 Sockers, and the championship is in doubt. Sockers lead, 4.28 to go. And it's still David Byrne. I'm telling you, San Diego gets a goal in the empty net. They're going to win this thing. Quinn sends it up. It's headed out by Troy. And now it comes back, kick in soccer. Again, here's Hermes now, trying to work it free for Carriage. Zorin double teamed along the wall and held. And he'll just kick it back to Kevin Crow. He'll stab it back in toward the net. Here's Karich in the corner. Lifts it out of play. Have its timeout. If, in fact, Baltimore were to take the lead. And right now, that's not out of the question. They trail by one. Hoskaby with the ball. Valentine quickly back to Hoskaby. Moves toward the net, into the corner, in front, and it's taken by Quinn, away from Mobilio. Now here's Carriage turning at center. Oh, and why kick that one wildly? But I suppose with the line change coming, it was perhaps appropriate. 3.20 left now as it comes to Thompson on the left side. A giveaway, but it comes back. Here's Hoskaby, left side shot, knocked down by Nagara. The header comes to the far post. Jungle trying to get it out and kicks it out. Oh, no. This is a bad spot for a free kick. And Hoskins. Here's Byrne. Into the corner. Here's Hoskaby. It's loose in front. Mobilio's shot is blocked by Nagara. Jungle racing after it along the wall. Valentine will have to play oh. it back to Byrne. Soccer's with four fouls. 2.55 left. Here's Byrne, who has to be tiring as the sixth attacker. What fitness. Here's Fernandez. A chance at the open net. He'll shoot it toward goal, and Byrne just gets to it. That time he did it right. Hoskaby in the corner. The shot knocked down. The rebound out the backside. Here's Valentine shooting, and it's kicked away. Another chance. Mobilio off the defender. Now Jungle at the red line. Takes it across from center to the open net, and it's wide. They were holding down Nogueira at the other end. No call. The officials feeling the pressure here tonight, as is everyone in the building. Mobilio posted up in front. It comes to the corner now for Ronson. Under two minutes. Here's Byrne at center. Baltimore needs one goal to tie, and they trailed by five. Hoskaby out to Byrne. Here's Valentine. Steps up to the red line. Plays it back to Byrne again with 134. Here's Hoskaby with room. Shoots. And Nagara's got it. Victor looking outlet. That's the toss. Sagota can't find it. It comes right back. Here's Thompson. Out to Valentine. Soccer's on a bad change. McCallis steps up to clear it with 115 left. And a foul called against Baltimore. Oh, that's a big play. Went ahead for Carriage. Back for Quinn. Pressured, but gets it across for Black. In front to Hermes. In front of the net. Scoop back towards San Diego's end. Crow will send it back up the left wing. Hermes and Valentine there. Valentine flicking it back to Byrne. 45 seconds left. Byrne sends it deep. Ralph Black out. Man back there. Here's Hoskaby. Far post and headed out by Brian Quinn. 
Freddie Thompson down the left side. Block. Here's Hermes after Valentine. An open net chance. He'll send it ahead for Terrence. A race, and Byrne will beat Terrence to the ball. Oh, and I'm surprised Hermes didn't go for the open net. Final chance, Randy. Here it comes when David Byrne brings it down. Up the field it comes to Hoscovy. McGarrett's got it. 14 seconds left. He'll smother the ball in the penalty area. The toss to midfield over the head of Byrne. Five seconds to go. Byrne will clear it. Gonna win. Three, two, one. It's over. And amazingly, the mystique is still alive. The San Diego Sockers are once again the MISL champions. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what it says. We just took this one on the celebration San Diego because the Sockers find out tonight that seven is in fact heaven. Juan Hermes and the others all celebrating here. The climax of an absolutely unreal seventh and deciding game. And stay right where you are. We will stay here to bring you all the championship formalities. We will learn of the MVP. We will learn of the unsung hero. Follow more five, and we'll be back. ISL champions for 1989. The San Diego Sockers. There's Ralph Black. He's never touched a championship trophy before. He came so close last timeout when he was in the finals two years ago with the Tacoma Stars who lost excruciatingly in the seventh game to the Dallas sidekicks. I think this makes up for all that past pain. And now Paul Wright, the rookie, touching it and parading around the arena floor here in Baltimore as well. A very special moment in all these young men's lives, one they won't forget.